Hello guys, today we want to look at a very special way of milking your yams. I have showed us a video before where I taught how to milk yam, but today I want to teach a very unique method. Because sometimes you want to milk your yam, but you are not quite ready to really harvest. What I mean by that, you are, you've not prepared the place you are going to store your yams, but it is time for you to actually milk. So you are between milking so that you will not lose the seed yams you will get and finding a place to actually store your yams today we are going to actually look at what to do in that regard so sit back as we go into this new method of making yams this is the yam we want to make now all right so this new method entails that you make your yam you are now expecting the seed yam, but the tubers, you have not removed them. They will still be inside the soil. I've done this method in yam itself before now, but I felt I should just make us know that we can also do it in yam in heaps. But I will demonstrate how to do it here because there are two very unique methods I'm going to teach here now. So let's go into it. Now, this is the yam I want to milk. I have two vines here. So, this is one of the tubers and I'm sure the other tuber is here. Alright, so this is the tuber I want to milk now. And this is the head. This is my knife. So what I will do is just to, I will cut, detach it from the head, I mean the main tuber, detach this head. Now I want you to know that this head is very important. This is the head that is predestined to form seeds. I showed us in a short video before what became of this. So now that you have detached the head, what you do is to take it down find a space around and bury it you just bury it of course you cover now this cut surface if you have wood ash you can just add if you have but if you don't have it uh, doesn't it doesn't spoil anything really although this is something i would like to do another time use a uh, wood ash to uh, rub this and the ones I don't use would ash, so that we'll do some comparison. But that's a discussion for another day. All right. So that's what you do. So you come to this place. Again, it's the same thing, of course. Look for the head. This two by is quite is quite large compared to this one. So. All right. So take note that your roots, they are intact, some of them. So now, in order to free this to be mobile, I'll just remove the roots here. Of course, I've detached from this head. So I'll just look for a place to bury. I'll just bury this one here. I'm not removing the tuber. I'm going to leave there because I'm not ready for harvest yet. But again, I don't want to lose the seed. So this is method number one. All right. In another two months or thereabout, I'll come here, remove both the seed yams and the tubers. One advantage of this is it's still very, it's still raining over here and I'm not ready to remove the tubers yet. Now, with these two bars being here, it's more like a storage thing. All right. So if I remove them now, if I don't want to sell them, they could go bad and all that. But the summary is that I'm not even chance to do that for now. So let me just do it this way. Okay. The method number two is what I want to show now. I want to make this. All right. So what we'll do with in method number two is Still, of course, you look for the head. 
in fact, this particular yam is, is giving me two very large tubers. All right. So this is the head now. You must have that skill of locating the head and of course cut from the neck. Okay. I've detached from here and I detached these two because this one is coming with. Okay, so I've detached. Now that I've detached, sometimes I may not even have because the tuba might be down. I may not even have the space to shift. So what I will just do will be to look for uh, a piece of wood or stone and just put in between. Put in between. So that there is a, a clear demarcation from the place where it's connected to the or this is another maybe a piece of wood now. I will now put in between. So that there's just a demarcation. This is the stone. It's just because this one is two. So one, two. Alright. So the head is here. All the roots are intact, but I have detached. Alright, you see it's free. I have detached. If you have space, you move. But if you don't have space, you just detach and put something in between. So that this head now begins to form the seed. So the tubers are in here. I'm not ready. I'll just cover. So a couple of weeks from now, you'll see that this place will start cracking because it has started forming tuber. So guys, these are the two major ways. But before we go, I'm going to show you the one that I have already done about 10 to 14 days ago so that you see that this head is already developing um, seed whereas the tuba is still in there. Let's go there. So I did this uh, some days ago, less than two weeks now. Okay, look at the tuba. Look at the tuba. So look at the place where I cut. Oh God, with this I had the opportunity of uh, applying ash and all that. So now, this is the head of the yam. Now, just watch. It has started becoming white. All right, see. Are you seeing it? See. Bring the camera closer so that you see the that small hair that I cut. See, this is just less than uh, two weeks. This is just about nine to ten days ago. It's becoming quite, well, which means it has already started uh, forming. So, if you observe carefully, it will start developing new roots. There's a way the 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 leaves that are still there they kind of induce uh, root formation so that this one become a, a new entity of its own so many people will be surprised how will it form see this old root they will just help to retain it for some time before it start developing new roots for it to grow those seed yam. now what i want you to know let me cover it up. all right now what i want you to know is that you don't need to wait till everything dries up eventually every vine is going to dry up here you know but i would have gained my cdm and my tuba is still here some people will still leave this tuba plus this vine without milking everything will dry up before they go and harvest instead of doing that why not just gain more cdm and of course your tuba is still here i'm even envisaging that next season from the way the things are going around in the economy cdms are going to be quite expensive so this is the time for you to actually do this. You are not ready to harvest. Fine. Milk, leave them all there. When you are ready to harvest, you just remove everything. At the end, you are having double harvest. Having your cedium, your tubers, rather than allow them to dry till the end. Because when you allow them to dry, the tubers will not get bigger. In the end, you would have lost your seed. Let me also shock you. This very tuba you are going to bring out, if you still, with time, after it has broken dormancy, from this same head if you cut part of the head it will still sprout so you have your cdm here you have the head that you can cut and it will still sprout it's a win-win situation for you i always say that so try as much as possible to do this and also let me have your result one more thing this is white here the question i want to ask will this also happen in water i am that's your water i am can you also milk I did an experiment and I know you want to know the outcome of that. So keep watching or subscribe if you have not done so, so that 
you will know what happened there. There are other of our videos you need to watch, especially this type of stuff I've done in SAC. So watch this next video. Thanks and God bless.